Welcome to Lecture Online. Our first topic in finance math is going to be simple interest. So what do we mean by simple interest? Well, it's the type of interest that's not found very much anymore because you don't earn as much as when you have compounded interest, but it's still a concept we need to understand. So before we do that, let's go over some basic concepts here. P stands for principal. Principal is the initial amount of money that you will invest. So if you have $1,000 you want to put in the bank, you don't earn a lot of money these days, but there was a time where we earned a fair amount of money in the bank. You want to put in the bank to earn some interest. That's your principal. That's your principal investment. Interest is the amount of money that you get in return for that. The bank will pay you money and that's called interest. You will earn interest. And so the unit for interest is dollars, not to be confused with the interest rate. So we'll get to that in just a moment. A stands for accumulated amount. The total amount that you end up with will be the initial principal you put in the bank plus whatever interest you earn on top of that. So the two combined will form the accumulated amount. So the more interest you earn, the bigger the accumulated amount, which is added to the initial principal investment that you made. Next is called R for rate. That's called the interest rate, usually expressed in percent or in decimal. So that's how fast you'll be accumulating interest, it's based upon the rate and of course about how much you invest as well. But if the rate is high, you'll, you'll get more interest. If the rate is low, you'll get less interest. So usually it's like 1% or 2% or 3%. So for every year that you put your money in the bank, they will give you some money back and it's in terms of what percent of your principal will they pay you and that's called the rate. And finally, the time, and usually it's expressed in years, how long will you put your investment in the bank? If you put it in for one year, you'll earn interest for a year. If you put it in for two years, you'll earn interest for two years. Simple, as in, simple interest means that you put it in, and then at the end of the period, they will give you the interest, and they will not pay you interest on the interest that you're earning along the way. That's the difference between simple interest and compounded interest. So if you leave it in for three years, after three years, they'll say, well, you turn in, you put in $1,000 in the bank, you get this rate, and after three years, you'll get this much money, and they don't pay you on the interest that you're earning while the money is in the bank. It's not as lucrative, so therefore, the compounded interest rate is the one that's most, used, most, most of the time used because it is a more advantageous way of earning money, and we'll get to that in a later video. So, definition of interest. Mathematically, the amount of money that you get back for investing your principal, it's equal to the principal you invest times the rate at which it's invested at times the amount of time that you leave it in the bank or in the investment. So it's principal times rate times time will give you interest earned and the result is in dollars. The accumulated amount is the amount that you end up with at the end which is equal to the principal you invested which of course you'll get back plus any interest that you earned. And since the interest that we earned is going to be equal to PRT from our definition we can then factor out a P the principal so that means the amount the accumulated amount will be the principal times the quantity 1 for the initial principal plus the rate times the time. All right, so here's an example. Here, let's say that we're going to invest $2,000 at 5% interest rate, and we do it for three years, but it's simple interest, which means that the interest that you'll earn, I, which is equal to the principal times the rate times the time, which is going to be equal to $2,000 times the rate, which is 5%, so that will be 0 0.05, times the time, which is three years. So. What is the total amount? Let's see here. 5% on $2,000 is, that would be $100 times 3, so that would earn you $300 after 3 years. So after 3 years, you would get your $2,000 back. They will pay an additional $300. So what would be the accumulated amount? So since the accumulated amount is equal to the principal plus interest, so in this case, the principal will be $2,000. That's the initial investment, plus the $300 that you earn on interest after three years, which equal to $2,300, which will be the accumulated amount that you'll end up with after three years. Okay, so quick check. That's 10, that was 100 times 3, 300. That looks correct. So that's the concept of simple interest. It's very straightforward. This is how you see how you calculate the interest earned, what we mean by accumulated amount, and then here's a nice little example to show you how to do that.